welcome back to the latest in our series of mindset and videos with Steve Ackley and Roger Black. Um, this week we're going to talk about developing a clear vision. So um, I'll just ask Roger first. Um, there's a lot of people sort of feel a bit lost at the moment in, with everything that's going on. So what would you advise them um, as to how to develop a clear vision? Oh, do you know what happened? It's so difficult. It's so, so difficult. You know, and I, and myself and Steve are in that position. We had amazing plans for last year, the you know, Tokyo Olympics. We were going to be busy with clients speaking and engaging in the Olympics. That's what we do. Nothing, you know, gone. And it's not going to happen this year. The Olympics might, but I don't think corporately it's going to be happening for us this year. So we know what it's like. And it's really, really tough. All I can say is, is what, what we've done is we, 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 we got into the moment. We, we said, what can we do now? Um, so we, we created a vision that was much closer. So we created the mind setting program that we're, to, we're here you know, developing and talking about uh, other parts of our business we've had to restructure. Um, and by doing that, we start to, to dare to think about a year's time, two years time, three years time. You know, athletes think in four-year cycles because of the Olympic Games. But it, even when you bring that down to there was something every year, uh, w- what's happened in, in the last 12 months is, of course, it's hard to look beyond tomorrow because we have no idea you know, when this is all going to end, when things are going to change. And I think we know that it, it, you know, it won't be as it always used to be. So we, we have to be different. And so we have to bring it upon ourselves to, to create a vision and maybe – Maybe it, it can't be as clear as in the old days, you know, but maybe, you know, we have to have a vision and develop the clarity of that as, as time goes on. But it's, it's definitely challenging and, and it's much more challenging than, than what it was, I would say, as an athlete, Steve. I don't know if, you, if you'd agree with that. Yeah, I, I think so. In fact, it's quite similar, I find, to being an athlete. Um, I, I'm particularly feeling that at the moment. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling, you know, those dark, long winter months when it's just a slog and you, you, you kind of, you're thinking about the future. And this is kind of where we're going with this sort of having a clear vision is, is exactly that, is, is envisaging in your own mind's eye what the future's going to, gonna, you know, bring for us because we get what we focus on, right? And, I, and, and you know, at the time, you know, it's a good point, Rog. I think, ne- you know, now it feels like those dark, long winter months when we would have been just slogging away, training hard, thinking about the Olympics, thinking about the World Championships, casting your mind forward and, um, you know, thinking of better days to come. You know, certainly can relate to that at the moment. Um, but but that, that skill and what, you know, part of the inspiration behind developing the mindsetting programme is giving people a toolkit of maybe new skills things that are you know within us and therefore free and readily available for us to go access and and, and develop and visualization is probably the one yes yeah. you know working over the years it's been fascinating hasn't it working with groups individuals and teams within organizations and whenever we touch visualization there's always a sense i always sense that some people go well yeah of course you know we all do that and others go, what, what are you talking mm. about? You know, it's mm. got and, you, and, and everything mm. in between. And I, I love that. You know, yeah. Because what's going on in other people's heads and how we visualize and we can talk about it, whether it's in color or black and white, whether it's framed or whether it's big, small, real time, first person, whether you're looking in like a TV screen. You know, there's different ways of visualizing the skill of mm. it. And this is why we. We, we, it's a big part of the program is a big part of being an athlete, yeah. isn't it? Because we were programmed to spend so much time in the future whilst working hard in the present. Mm. And, and, but and then it, that made, when, when your big day came, it was like you'd lived it a thousand times, right? Yeah. And, and, and this, you know, Steve's talking about visualization, Malcolm, which is such a simple tool, such a, a such an essential tool in, in sport as a sports person. And, and something that we all have at our disposal. And I know that in the last few months, Steve and I have both you know, talked about the things we visualized for our business. Our businesses have changed, you know, including this mindsetting program. I have my own fitness company that has completely had to change. And, and being able to just have a, a picture in your mind of how, of how you want it to be and how you want things to be and how it's going to work. Even though it may not end up like that, it does give you that, that you know, gives you something to get excited about. And I think visualization, which we can do whenever we want, wherever we want, 
certainly as an athlete, we did it a lot. Um, and I'm not saying I visualized nothing like as much as I used to as an athlete, because it was very clear what I was visualizing as an athlete. But it's certainly a tool that I know Steve and I believe in. We've seen it work with people. In fact, we were working with some people the other day and they did it for a job interview and, and said to us, that was amazing. You know, it really helped. So it's still a tool. It's, you know, we come to just you know, having a clear vision, you know, look it up, look at the program, but just try that, that, that simple technique of visualization because um, it's a very powerful tool. That's brilliant advice, actually. And I think that's something that I'm going to um, talk to my clients about as well, because I think um, so many people have just got their head down at the moment and um, struggling to look forward. So um, th thanks for that input. That's fantastic. And I'll see you next week.